What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you a brand new food hall here in downtown Miami that just opened a week ago. Its name is Julia and Henry's. And we're only two blocks away from it. I record this video on June 11th, 2023. The time right now is 12.30 p.m. and it's 87 Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius. This food hall, Julia and Henry's, only opened about a week ago on Saturday, June 3rd. So we're still in time to uh, enjoy all the opening process. It's named Julia and Henry's after two very important people. Julia Tuttle, often referred to as the founding mother of Miami, along with William Brickle, but Brickle was more on the other side of Miami to the south, and Henry Flagler for Henry, because he was the man responsible for bringing his railroad down to Miami and encouraging its development. This is the start of Flagler Street downtown. Right now it's undergoing a major reconstruction. It is closed off to traffic right now. Much of downtown Miami is going through a uh, reconstruction. This street is the main one here in this part of downtown. The fastest growing area of downtown though is the Miami World Center. That's practically going to be its own mini city within downtown. This building here where the Marshalls is, is the Flagler Galleria. It has an Italian restaurant on the corner and a few souvenir shops inside. The food hall is just at the end of this block on the corner. And it is over here in this building. This is the Julia and Henry's food hall. Doesn't really look like much from the outside here. In fact, it has some pretty funny looking artwork and posters where you can look right inside.
The main entrance is over here on Flagler Street and East 2nd Avenue. Looks like there's no line to go in here today. When I came by here yesterday, it was pretty long. This food hall is pretty incredible to say the least. Let's go upstairs for a better view. I think we could start from the top floor and work our way down. This is by far the hottest thing in downtown Miami right now. This looks very exciting. You've had There's it? There's a South yeah. Asian street food section. This food looks incredible. Another Asian street food stall. Baklava Bakery. Does this look good? There are a lot of vendors here. I think this top floor looks like it's all Asian. That looks good. Hand roll sushi here.
No, this is not Asian on here, over here. This is Mediterranean. Hummus, lox, baba ganoush. Check out the second level. Hey, awesome. How do you like it here so far? Awesome. I'm gonna try some food after. Yeah, we need to try something too. Yeah. And have fun. Anything that caught your eye? Uh, I don't know yet. Just the third floor I saw, but I'm gonna go to the second floor and the first floor. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yeah, nice to see you. That's what I want to do, get this video over with so I can get some food. The air conditioning works well in here for those of you wondering. From first glance, I see a lot of uh, Asian-inspired vendors. Lots of fusion um, places too. Wagyu burgers here. I can see this being an issue. It's not that much space between the counter and the seating area. People are just crowded here. But I could understand this Wagyu area is very popular. I may have to walk around the other way. People keep coming this way. I think that's the most crowded uh, vendor I've seen yet, the Wagyu Burgers. There they are. Oh, there's a kid's room too. That's very convenient. The play area has some rules too. A key lime pie vending machine. $6.50 for a key lime pie. There's the restrooms. That looks great.
hot dogs. This is just a seating area here. What's over here? Fried chicken. Incredible. Oh, look at this birthday cake. I think they know what they're doing. They put the dessert section on the ground level. I am blown away by this food hall. The Flagler Bowl, that looks amazing. All day breakfast too. here in the back. Hong Kong egg waffles? Wow, are you serious? This is probably uh, the most unique thing here. I've never seen a Hong Kong egg waffle spot in Miami at all. And these are even hard to find in major cities. Ceviches at Che Wong.
చెక్యాతి This is unbelievable. All right, everyone. That is the tour of the entire place. Julia and Henry's food hall. What an amazing food hall. I'm blown away. And I can't wait to get something to eat right now. Thank you so much for joining in. Hope you can visit here when you're in downtown Miami. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone, take care.